Hey, welcome back to TopFatLossTrainer.com. I'm your host, James Villapeg. Welcome back to another Burst Bout. Now, if you've not read uh, the instructions already at our story on the navigation of TopFatLossTrainer.com, the homepage, then you might not know that we switched from doing six workouts a week to four. And the reason for, for that is that a lot of people don't have the time to do six Burst Bouts a week. So I've taken what was originally three strength-based burst bouts and three cardio-based burst bouts, which made up to six workouts a week. I've now combined the strength-based bur burst bouts into the cardio-based burst bouts. So you've got three strength-based, cardio-based burst bouts, which would be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then on Saturday will be more of a full-body blast, where you'll be working each of your major muscle groups in balance. Now, if you need information on how these burst bouts work, and I suggest that you check this out, go to the navigation at topfellowstrainer.com and there is a navigation uh, button called Story and you'll gain a great idea of the science behind the burst bout training. I try to make it very comprehensive and, and talk more in layman terms rather than, than using too much uh, you know, technical and, and, and too much jargon um, that would, would just not make sense to a lot of people. So. We're going to get started today. Today is a work time of 45 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. I've got a great list of exercises here, 10 different exercises to hit the major muscle groups. And uh, rather than going down the list as I usually do, we're just going to get started. And what you can do is at tapfaultlosstrainer.com, you can print out the actual workout, take it with you downstairs or you know, in the basement or up wherever you work out in the house or to the gym or on the road if you're traveling. And uh, you know, by looking at the video, you can either train along with me, or you can just gain a better idea of how the exercises will work, and then go off on your own and do them. And that's usually the best way to do it. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult to follow along. Plus, to save time on this, these videos, I cut a lot of the, the bursts short so that I can minimize the, the length. Uh, here we go. Okay, We're going to start with deep sumo squats into calf raises. I've got my gym boss timer set, I have my power blocks right here. Uh, this type of gear, in terms of gym boss timer and power blocks, are on the website at this particular workout. You'll see that you know, I've, I've put a little list of exercise gear for you to, to get the most out of these workouts. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment, send me an email about other exercise equipment that you might be interested in purchasing, and I can probably get you a good deal. So make sure you let me know. And uh, we'll get started. Deep sumo squats and calf raises in three, two, one. Okay, here we go. As you can see, I have my chest out, shoulders back. My feet are double hip width apart. And I'm coming up on my tiptoes. I have my dumbbells up here. If you go too heavy, you can keep the dumbbells down over here or even better, in between your legs. But for this particular weight, I like to hold them up here. Try to get down as low as possible without hurting your back. Parallel or just above parallel. Stick your butt out and try to sit back as if you're sitting in a chair. And get up high on those tiptoes. Distribute the weight evenly throughout your feet. Okay, put those weights down. Next exercise burst is push-ups. Okay, now you've got the 20 seconds rest, so really catch your breath. Make sure that you're really prepared for the next exercise. Okay, here we go. 45 seconds worth of push-ups in three, two, one. Here we go. All the way down, all the way up. No rest. Lower your whole body, nice rigid spine, abs tight. Okay, hop it up. Again, 20 seconds rest. Next exercise is di diagonal lunges. 
Now, this is the same as front lunges, however, you're stepping out on a diagonal, on an angle. Gives you just a little bit of a different feel. Here we go. Pick up the dumbbells, chest out, shoulders back. Feet a little less than hip width apart, step out to the side. Same thing, other side. Chest out, shoulders back, abs nice and tight, head up. Roll heel to toe. Front leg does all the work. Back leg is for pivoting. Not easy. Exhale as you push back. Inhale as you step in. exercise, straight arm pullover. I'm going to use the twist ball, also known as the fitness ball, for this exercise. You can use a bench or a ball. I take a power block, side profile. Here we go. Grab the double handles, hips up, moving from the shoulder joint. If you sit your, your pelvis, you can hit more of the chest. I don't want that. Hips up, arms straight, Elbows just about locked out, only moving from the shoulder joint, focusing on the back muscles now. Back muscles. The more you put your mind in the muscles that you're trying, that you're intending on stimulating, the more you're going to get out of it. The mind is that powerful, guys. Okay, roll up, put your weight down, we'll do your next exercise. Neutral grip rows, get my ball out of the way. Neutral grip just means that your palms will be facing the sides of your body. I right, have five seconds. Another back exercise. Feet hip width apart, bend over at the hips. Chest out, shoulders back. Get those elbows all the way back. Drive them up. You don't want to go like this. You want to bring the shoulders down and elbows back. Exhale as you drive the elbows up and back. You can start your hands slightly in front of you for a nice stretch. And it's sort of like starting a lawnmower. Not that you start a lawnmower with two hands, but. And really squeeze the back muscles. Next exercise. Catch your breath, shake it out. Front to side raises. Drink some of that lactic acid out of there. Okay, here we go. Front to side raises. Feet hip width apart, knees slightly bent. Front raise, right to a side raise. Front, side. Check out side profile. Knees slightly bent. Nice rigid form. Nice and strict form. In front, lead with the elbows and to the sides. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you come back down. We come all the way back up to the next angle. Okay. Shake it out. Next exercise, alternating bench step-ups. These are not easy, especially due to the fact that you did diagonal lunges. Watch your head as you're stepping up. I position this so my head will go right between the beams. You're going to be alternating legs. Place your foot right in the middle of the bench. Step back down, switch legs. Front leg does all the work. Back leg is just for pivoting. You gotta really focus on that because it's easy to cheat. Okay. Look at your list. Next exercise upright rows for the shoulders. Whew. Shake it out. 
Get your dumbbells ready. Five, four, three. Feet hip width apart. Lead with the elbows. Drive, drag it right up your body, right up to about chin level. I want you to keep it away from your body slightly. It's a little less strain on the shoulders. Let the hands hang, as you can see. Chest out, shoulders back, and down. Let the muscles do the work. Focusing on the shoulders, leading with the elbow. Nice expanded spine. Knees slightly bent. Take any stress off the lower back. Exhale as you drag the, the dumbbells up. Okay? Shake it out. Next exercise, flat chest fly for the chest muscles, pectoral muscles. Have 10 seconds rest. Sit down on the edge of the bench. Get ready. We'll be your gym boss timer. Sit back. It's just about time. Here we go. Only moving from the shoulder joint. Lock your elbows in a slightly bent position. And as you come around in an arc, I want you to imagine hugging around a tree. And this will help you maintain that arced movement. As you come up overhead, I want you to really contract the chest muscles. Inhale as you come down, nice stretch. And exhale as you come up and contract the chest. Nice fluid movement, no rest at the bottom, no rest at the top. If there was any time to rest, I wouldn't really call it a rest. I should say if there's any time to stop, it would be slightly at the top just to really make sure you're contracting the muscles that you're, you're focused on. Okay, when you're done, I like to bring my legs up and throw them down, gain some momentum so I don't hurt my lower back. Okay, here we go. Last exercise is for the triceps, dumbbell kickbacks. And then I'll talk about what comes next. In three, two, one, sort of like the neutral grip row. Same position where you're bent over at the hips. I want your elbows out, and I want the bottoms of the arms to come up and meet the tops of the arms. Really focus on contracting the tricep, especially at the top. Even five pounds, you should feel this almost immediately because you're really letting the triceps do all the work here, especially getting those dumbbells up. Maintain form as you're even coming down. You don't want too much momentum. It's very important. Okay. That was one bout, the strength part of this burst bout. I'm going to stop the gym boss timer. I'm going to talk about this real quick. Now, for this particular sequence, you're going to be doing three total bouts of this strength phase, which is going to run you about 34 and a half minutes. But you're not done there because I've integrated, I've merged the strength based exercises with the cardio based exercises. So you're going to get the best of both worlds. I want you to get both strength training and your cardio training done in one workout. This total workout is going to uh, run you about 40 total minutes, which honestly is not a lot of time in terms of the results that you'll get. Plus, you're only training Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday if you choose to. But Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are definites. This is what you need. Now, this cardio-based part of the burst bout is going to be a sequence of four exercises. Okay? I'm setting the gym boss timer to 15 seconds of work and to only 10 seconds of rest. All right? And real quick, I'll run down the, the list of exercises. We're going to start with straight punches. Then we're going to do a jumping jack flash, just very fast jumping jacks then to a bicycle maneuver for the abdominals and core, and then we'll finish with a knee up. All cardio-based movements, except for the core movement, but we make that cardio because we're going to be moving at a more of a rapid fire movement. And this is the cardio part. This is only going to be about four and a half minutes, which is not, I'm sorry, five and a half minutes, which is not a long time, but it's going to be high intensity, more rapid fire movement than what you get when you do the, the strength movements, because that's not what it's about. What we want to do with strength is obviously build some strength, but build, build some muscle, uh, you know, lean muscle tissue, but also you know, tone up the muscle, the existing muscle that you have. As you probably already know, diet is crucial here for these burst bouts. If you want to get the best results possible, you have to eat right. 
So make sure you visit us at topfatlosstrainer.com under the, the fat burning foods and some of the other nutritional pieces on there and you'll gain a better idea. Okay, so let's set this gym boss. Okay, so I have my gym boss timer set to 15 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. You're going to be doing four bouts of this. I'm only going to be performing one just to demonstrate. And we're going to get right into this with straight punches in three, two, one. Rapid fire movement. That's what it's all about here. This is cardio based, so you want to go as fast as possible, maintaining form. 15 seconds of work, not a lot of time, so get the most out of it. Next exercise, jumping jack flashes. Get your mat out of the way. Here we go. Jumping jack flash, nice and fast. Here we go. Only 15 seconds, no excuses. Okay, only 10 seconds rest. Next exercise, bicycle maneuver. Get my mat on the floor, take position. Here we go, right to it. Don't crank out the neck. See, I keep my hands back there to make sure that I'm getting a full range. I'm gonna bring elbow to opposing knee. Try to get your legs all the way out there. Nice, fast, rapid fire movement. Pop up. Last exercise, knee ups. Catch your breath. Here we go. Right to it. I want those knees above the hips. Use your arms to gauge, I'm sorry, to get a little momentum. That's okay. But get nice and high and keep it nice and fast. Rapid fire movement. See how fast that goes? Now that was only one bout. You've only got your 10 seconds of rest, and you're gonna do three more bouts, just like that. So today's burst bout, both a combination of strength training and cardio-based movements, are gonna run you 40 total minutes. Phenomenal workout. Remember, the schedule's changed. You're gonna be working out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday now. And if you do these burst bouts, and you're eating correctly, staying motivated, inspired, making sure that you come back and visit us daily, um, you're going to really gain a great amount of wisdom and you're going to get some amazing workouts for free. So I'm James Villapeg with TopFatLossTrainer.com. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. If you have any questions, please always feel free to contact me and I'll be there for you guys. Thanks and I will see you on Wednesday. Take care guys.